indie and mobile gamers, today I'm going to be talking about an Android game called Crazy Defense 3D, made by Ektorki Games. In the, in, the, in the story of this game, you play, or you, your character is, a crazy uh, old man with like long white dreads who freaked out in front of the wrong people, and so he got locked up in the insane asylum. And you're sitting in your jail cell, rotting away in your days, when you notice this cylinder of pills, and you take these cylinder of pills, because you're a pill popper, and you enter this ecstatic state of colorful bliss. And when that wears off, you somehow acquire psychonesis, and you, you split the bars of your jail cell like Moses at the Red Sea, and you walk through that jail cell on an arid path. Your character is hiding at the end of a corridor while your enemies, nurses and doctors, try to get you, and you set up towers and strategic ways to try to protect you and your pill stash. There are four different types of game modes. The first one is survival, then there's strategy, then there's box challenge, and then there is Pac-Dan, P-A-C-D-A-N with a little hyphen in the middle. Okay. In survival mode, your character is hiding at the end of the corridor. You start out with about 300 bucks, and you're able to order from some random delivery company that delivers express to the same asylums. You order boxes. Those are the basic towers. They don't do anything except for retard the movement of the enemies, which are nurses and doctors. You can also use a little bit of that money to upgrade these towers into three different types of towers. Uh, the first one is a Venus flytrap type thing. The second one is another inmate that's with you in the same asylum. And the third one is a aerial weapon, like I said, it's a pea shooter, it shoots red peppers, and it can also shoot like candy grenades that'll land on the ground and blow up. Now when you start out with these 300 bucks and you have to set your towers down, you gotta make sure you have a good idea where they might go through. Once your towers kill one of the nurses or doctors, you get a few extra bucks, and you save it up, you buy another tower, or you can upgrade these towers you already have to a more powerful stage. The second game mode that you can unlock is strategy mode. Now this works a little bit differently than survival, but it's kind of the same concept. Uh, you, at the beginning, are already given certain towers that are some upgraded, some are basic, and you're told where a few enemies will come from, either the left side or the top hallway. You have a few seconds at the beginning of the level to place the towers where the enemies might come through, and hopefully you can stop all the enemies before they get to the end of the corridor. The third game mode is Box Challenge. With Box Challenge, you're not given any towers that are upgraded. You're given a few basic boxes that you have to maneuver in certain ways to retard the enemy's movement just enough before the time limit goes out. Then the last game mode is called Pack Dan. This is where the roles are kind of reversed. Instead of your character, the crazy old man, hiding at the end of the corridor, you physically play as a crazy old man, trying to go through the levels and reach the end of the corridor where you can hide from the nurses and doctors. Now while you're doing this, you have to pick up three different pills and Anne gets to the end of the corridor while running away from nurses and doctors. That's pretty much it for this review. Here's the score, it's a 4.3 out of 5, and in the description we'll have a link to our blog where there's a more detailed written review on this game with some more specifics of how we rated each particular aspect of the game. There's a few things that the developer uh, said to me about the game that I'm going to put in there. And also in the description we'll have a couple links to some of our other indie game reviews that we do kind of frequently. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.